welcome dear students of o levels from different countries so now o levels english has been made easy for you you don't need to go anywhere for preparing o levels english just be connected with us around the globe wherever you are because imad only in academy is bringing for you the crash course of o levels english the best preparation for your exam to get good grades so let's have a detailed overview of what o levels english is all about it's its official code issued by cambridge's 1123 keep in your mind that this code is for english basically for those people who have their first language english at home or maybe at school or they are closer to the one who speaks english as his or her first language if you choose this course of o levels english 1123 you cannot choose other english language course in o levels So what is it for let's have a brief introduction then we shall go for its paper pattern and how to prepare it all the sections which are included in it and how to prepare that i would suggest important points for how to prepare this o level english exam so it's issued by cambridge o level english language is designed for learners who speak english at home or at school at near first language level the purpose of this course is to develop the ability to communicate clearly accurately and effectively when writing use a wide range of vocabulary and correct grammar spelling and punctuation so these are the things that this course is aimed at so keep in your mind dear students that when when you are writing in your exam the examiner will look for these things in your paper and the examiner will expect you to cover all these things the correct usage of grammar spelling and punctuation and also use a wide range of vocabulary in your writing section and as well as in reading and develop a personal style and an awareness of the audience being addressed so what are you writing for if you are writing a letter to someone who is your audience the one that the letter is being sent to and if you are writing a story for teenagers so who is the audience the teenage boys and girls so this course enables you to keep in your mind which type of audience you are addressing and which type of personal style you can choose to write something and how effectively and accurately you can communicate in english language what do you want to communicate and learners are also encouraged to read widely so keep in your mind that for covering o levels english you need to read you need to develop a habit of reading reading a wide range of newspapers and articles and books and stories and many things like that both for your own enjoyment and to further your awareness of the ways in which english can be used so what is reading paper basically reading gives you an opportunity to see how correctly english can be used and how beautifully the knowledge of english grammar and vocabulary can be used and can be well structured into sentences okay let's now look into some other things so if you are from brunei mauritius or singapore then you have to write your specific codes of english which are other than 1123 but all other students who are not from singapore brunei or mauritius if you are elsewhere in the world like you are from other countries of africa from syria from damascus from egypt from saudi arabia and from india pakistan and bangladesh 
so you need to enter your course code your subject code for your admission or filling any official form you have to add 1123 as your subject code okay this o level english is a curriculum and an exam by cambridge university and you know the cambridge system how it works around the globe and many students around the globe they choose cambridge to prepare themselves from the global market to go into international institutions for jobs and future professional studies so for that reason people around the globe now prefer to adopt Cambridge studies so there are two papers in your O levels Cambridge English paper one is writing and it has 60 marks in total paper two is about reading this section has 50 marks in total so you have to attempt these two papers for your O-level English. Paper 1 is about writing and paper 2 is reading. Both of these carry 50% weightage of total marks. But writing section has 60 marks and reading section has 50 marks. So these are the two papers that you have to attempt for your O-levels English. Paper 1, writing. It has total 60 marks and the time allowed for this paper will be 1 hour and 30 minutes. There are two sections in your writing paper. Section 1 is about directed writing. It has 30 marks. And what is directed writing? In directed writing, you are directed, you are given some information, you have to follow those instructions very carefully because if you deviate from them, you will lose your marks. You have to write between 200 to 300 words. Writer is not, the examiner is not much concerned with your number of words, rather the content that you write. So if you write too much, unnecessary information it would not be a better job so you should not exceed the word limit of 300 words because you will just waste your time after that and you should also not minimize it to less than 200 works because you will also lose the mere marks in that case your content would be highly relevant and in directed writing section, you will be given a direction which you have to follow. You will be given a particular situation. And later on in this video, we shall go through past paper and we shall look into the Cambridge official paper that which type, which type of questions are there in this section. And section 2 is about composition where you have a choice there are five topics sometime and you can choose one of them and you can write about that. But in directed writing, the question is compulsory. There is no choice for you. You just have to write the directed writing, the what's given there in section 1 for 30 marks. You don't have choice. But in section 2, this part of composition, you have a choice for choosing one out of five topics. And this contains... 30 marks just like the first section so in writing paper again you have two sections section 1 is about directed writing and section 2 is about composition where you have to write something in English there are different topics you have to write on any one topic there are three types of writings in composition argumentative descriptive and narrative so Topics will be given under these types and you will have to choose any one amongst them. How you have to prepare? Basically, you must be familiar. You must thoroughly study what is argumentative writing. You must attend some lectures or you, sh you should get some advice from your tutor. Or you should read some standard books like Alan Thurton's book is one of the best books that I would recommend you to go through. 
So you should learn about argumentative writing, which type of devices, writing devices that you can use in argumentative writing, which type of discourse you can use it, and which type of audience do you have to consider in your mind for writing this. And then the descriptive writing, where you have to describe something using many descriptive adjectives, qualifying something. So, but there, was, there are many details about what a descriptive writing is actually. And your technicalities you must follow. And this is something that, that the examiner would minutely consider that whether you have followed the technical suggestions important for writing descriptive writing or not. So you have to be very vigilant if there is argumentative writing. You should use argu that type of tone which is required there. And if it's a descriptive writing, so you're using your vocabulary and use of descriptive adjectives should be a fine one, impressive one. And if it's a narrative uh, type of writing, so how you have to narrate that, how you have to create a story or narrate an event, so it's something like that. You, you must follow all the instructions carefully given in the paper as we shall see later on. And these are the topics where you, which you can find in your O-Levels English best books available in the market on international level. So you should first go through these types of writings, their technicalities. And you should also be good at grammar because grammar is something that examiner will closely look at. So you should be good at grammar, especially in your writing paper. Paper 2 is all about reading. And of course, it, it it contains 50 marks out of, and the time allowed for paper two of reading is one hour and 45 minutes. Candidate answer all questions in both sections. There is no choice for you here in this paper two reading. You have to answer all the questions in the paper. There are two sections in your reading paper. That is your paper two. In the first section, it's about reading for ideas. You have to find specific ideas. You have to highlight some opinions given in the text. And this contains 25 marks. So in this section, you have to scan a factual text and identify key points. It can be in different way where how the examiner asks you to identify the key points and to tell them that which type of information do you find in the text. And you will be given in the form of insert some passages of text which you have to read and then you have to extract or scan some information from that text or you have to identify the key points, the main ideas. Then candidates also have to use their notes to produce a written summary of 150 to 180 words. So all the notes that you produce in the form of identifying the key points or scanning the factual text and producing the main opinions or ideas. So you have to use those key points and ideas to write a summary of those text passages as asked by the examiner. So examiner might ask you to give a summary of paragraph 4, 5. So he might ask you give a summary of paragraph or passage 1. So candidates answer questions to identify examples of a function in the text like opinions. So the examiner can ask you to tell him which opinion is there in passage 1 and which opinion is there in passage 2 and which type of opinions are there in passage 3. Or the examiner can ask you to highlight some of the advices given in these passages or which are the warnings that are given in the passages or which type of critical views or criticism is given in the passage. So you have to, spe to scan actually the text, a piece of text, and you have to identify the main points or key points. These points can be opinions, it can be some advice, 
it can be criticism or it can be some warnings the section 2 in your second paper of reading is reading for meaning it also in carries 25 marks in total in this section candidates respond to questions about one narrative passage there is one narrative passage that means like a story like narration and there are multiple types of questions asked by examiner from that narrative passage and you have to answer those questions for example in 2019's Cambridge O Levels paper there were in question number one to eight there was short question answers types there were information based questions asked by the examiners that we shall later on see in this video so you have to ask you have to answer those questions asked by the examiners the short questions and you have to give short answers in the place given in your paper so those questions are sometimes factual questions asked from the passage sometimes creative one in question number nine there are some mcqs multiple choice questions in this section also you have to identify the correct meanings you can say the synonyms and it carry five marks the five mcqs are there then question number 10 this is the most interesting question section for me in this second section of reading paper and many students are confused always at this one but with continuous practice and learning and properly attending the lecture on this subject when you are at your school classes you can be a masterist in this meaning and effect so you are sometimes asked by you are given some statements and you are asked to tell the meaning of this line in this sentence and then tell which effects it create in the minds of the audience or which effects it creates inside the text so it's a very interesting one you are given an example it also requires your sharp your sharp skill of reading and understanding and comprehending so that you can tell you you have to read the passage thoroughly and you have to extract that which type of effect does it create so we shall look for the sample in later on in this video both passages in paper 2 will be approximately 700 words each so there will be two passages in the reading paper and each of them will be approximately 700 words Here is a sample paper of 2019 May June paper code 1123 so Cambridge O level Cambridge assessment international education Cambridge ordinary level it's called O level English language paper 1 it's writing time allowed 1 hour and 30 minutes no additional materials are required so here is the first page of your writing paper remember an answer booklet is provided inside this question paper you should follow the instructions on the front cover of the answer booklet if you need additional answer paper ask the invigilator for a continuation booklet remember that section 1 and section 2 of this paper are worth the same number of marks so you should divide your time carefully between them yes you should you should keep in your mind for the both section of writing you have equal marks so divide your time carefully so answer both section 1 and section 2 you don't have a choice to either choose section 1 or 2 rather you have to select and answer both of the sections you are advised to write so this is the word limit 200 to 300 works words and total marks for this section 1 are 30 
so here is the task given you should read very carefully these instructions given in the question because you have to follow this is why we call it directed writing so these are the directions that you have to follow while writing something you are walking along a busy road and you see a car drive very close to someone on the bicycle the car almost knocks the cyclist off the bicycle you are very concerned about the way that car drivers behave towards cyclists you decide to write a letter to the editor of local newspaper to complain about the problem now the whole situation has been described for you these are the instructions that you have to follow write your letter you must include the following when and where the incident took place now these instructions you have to follow and your marks depend on how much you follow the instructions given by the examiner you have to strictly follow them the examiner is expecting you to include in your letter when and where the incident took place the place and the time of incident what exactly happened including how the car driver was to blame what you think should happen to improve the situation for cyclists on the roads so the cyclists who are moving on the roads how you can improve so you also have to produce a solution for the problem so these are the things that must be there in your writing answer directed writing answer cover all three points above in detail so detail means you have to tell the time the day and which time it was what day it was what was the date which was the month when this incident happened you have to tell the whole detail you also have to tell the details like where so when you say where you say the new york in united states of america so you can say damascus a city in syria you have to tell complete about the place you should make your letter polite and informative so that this is the tone you have to follow the tone of your letter should be polite and your letter should be informative it should include some informations about the issue of car drivers and the cyclists on the road and you as you also have to produce your solution to the problem so start your letter with dear editor and remember to supply an appropriate ending you have to give a proper closing and ending of the letter and you have to start your letter abruptly from dear editor so you also must f- follow these instruction that don't use any extra word to start your letter just start your letter with these words dear editor then there is a second section of your writing paper that is composition it also carries 30 marks you have to write 350 to 500 words in this section here are uh, you have task 2 3 4 5 6 descriptive argumentative two topics in argumentative and two topics in narrative so out of these five options you have to select one at the beginning of your composition put the number of task you have chosen you also have to tell the number of task for example If you are going to write write a story in which a promise plays an important part if you want to write this story you have to put question number or oh sorry task number 6 at the beginning of your answer which you will write the story when you will begin write on one of the following topics keep in your mind you are, you have a choice so either you can write this descriptive writing or any one of these argumentative writings or any one of these two narrative writings you have to select one from these five tasks so whatever you choose you should follow the theme the mode the tone and the way the style which is used and the language which type of language is used for argumentative either for descriptive or narrative or argumentative So here is your paper 2 that's about reading 1 hour and 45 minutes is the time that is allowed to you additional material insert and insert will also be provided to you you have to 
write your answers on the question paper not on some external answer sheet and you will also be given an insert that will include reading passages which you have to read carefully and then you have to answer all questions in both section 1 and 2 you have to answer and the insert contains the two reading passages the additional insert that will be provided to you will include two reading passages that you will be reading carefully before answering the questions punctuation spelling and grammar mistakes will be penalized in any part of the paper in any part if you have grammar spelling or punctuation mistakes you will use your you will lose your marks as i had told you earlier the first section in reading paper is reading for ideas so here is the paper of 2019 read passage 1 shops and shopping in modern times in the insert insert is an extra sheet a paper where you have these reading passages that you have to read then you have to answer these questions now the first part of reading section 1 you have this note taking activity you have to create these notes you have to content to make these points you will be awarded up to 12 marks for content points like advantages of out of town shops and shopping now this one advantage is given by the examiner himself now you have to put other points of advantages and here you have to point out the advantages of town center shops and shopping and the one advantage is given by the examiner himself other advantages you have to read the passage and you have to find out trace out the advantages and then you have to put them here so this is the and it carries 12 marks now here is the other part of the first section of reading paper that includes a summary you have to write 150 to 180 words including these 10 words which are given by the examiner and you have to produce a summary of the passage and for producing the summary you have to use the the notes that you made in this first part of your first section this is the b part that is called summary it's the same question but it's the b part the second component of the same question in this you have to combine all those points and you have to make a summary now don't write this summary in the note form like you made notes in this a section of question number 1 you have to do continuous writing here in this summary section you have to continuously write it here is now question number 2 In question number two, the examiner asks you to reread the paragraphs two, four, and five of the passage, and give one opinion from each of these paragraphs. Now you have to show or highlight the opinion. You have to tell which opinion is given in paragraph two. You have to point out or scan from the factual text, and you have to identify which opinion is given in paragraph number four. and you also have to identify which opinion is given paragraph number 5 for this purpose you need to read those paragraphs very carefully in order to scan the which opinion is given in that paragraph to find out this particular information or to trace out the opinion from a, a passage from a paragraph you must be reading it very carefully so basically there are there were two questions in this first section of reading paper question number 1 was about creating notes and then making summary and question number 2 was about scanning some like information like opinion or maybe some advice or warning something like that and here in this paper you are supposed to tell the opinion which are given in these specific paragraphs then there is section 2 of reading for meaning it also includes 
25 marks this section you have to solve from reading passage number 2 that is about aunt john and this passage is given in the insert that is another sheet a paper where there are some passages written and you have to read them after reading you have to answer these questions why did the writer regularly visit aunt john you can easily find the answer from reading the passage so this is some time of some some sort of some type of comprehension some type of reading comprehension activity in question number three you have two questions then you have two questions from paragraph number two then you have a question from paragraph number three it has two components a and b you just have to read these paragraph for example if you want to answer these two questions you need to just read paragraph three and find answers for these two questions and then there is question from paragraph number four then from paragraph number five so these two this question that has two components are always from a specific paragraph that is mentioned in the paper for these questions you just need to read that specific paragraph to find the answers okay then again from all seven paragraphs you have to find out circle actually the same meaning that we call synonym you have to circle the correct english meanings these are multiple choice questions and you have to select enriched mean helped financed improved or developed so you have to read the paragraphs carefully and you have to tell so line number is also given you don't need to read the whole paragraph so you just have to quickly go into line number four to find the correct usage of enriched that in which meaning it has been used in that passage then you have to look for all other words going to the same lines given in the in the brackets and you can look for that in which meaning or sense the word has been used in the text this question number 10 or the last question in the second section of reading paper which is your second paper in your o levels english is very interesting one this is called meaning and effect question now you have been given some statements what john said and what the writer said so here in lines 32 to 33 a part of this question this is statement by john and the in part b this is the statement by the writer so you should you have to quickly go into these lines number 32 and 33 read them deeply and tell what is the meaning of this line and which type of effects it create so if you have a strong practice of reading it doesn't mean an apparent or surface reading it requires a deep reading for deep students for creative students who don't sleep in nights but keep awaking in the light of beautiful lamps along africa in pakistan in australia in new zealand in uk and in usa and around the globe the people the students who keep reading late at nights and who try to trace the deeper meanings behind the words of the text so they can tell that which type of effects the words and their meanings create it's very interesting one it's something very creative one so during your classes you have to make a good practice of all these things and read the things carefully and your teacher or your tutor your instructor in the class will continuously make you practice 
for this activity and during your english lectures your english classes at your school do not waste your time when teacher assigns you an activity to find out the meaning and effect of a particular sentence from a paragraph you should open your register your notebook and you should do this activity if you will waste your time at at school playing sleeping and making noise in the class and will not follow these creative activities instructed by your teacher at school so on examine examination day in the examination hall you will have a greater fear and hesitation and anxiety so to avoid all that trouble be a very active student at school and be focused on your classes we also provide you an opportunity to join online classes at imad online academy so you can secure your admission by contacting through our admission office whatsapp number that has been given in the beginning of this video thanks for watching take care wish you best of luck in your upcoming cambridge exam